Hi everyone, it's Rio Cloud Sync. In today's session, we'll look at the public preview for the last successful sign-in property within Microsoft Graph Explorer. This is a new feature, and this was announced on 1st of December 2023. It's an extra property that has been added to the sign-in activity API. This is used to display the last successful sign-in times for a specific user, regardless if their sign-in attempt was either interactive or non-interactive and the data won't be backfilled for this property. You will requ require a Microsoft Entry ID P1 or P2 license to follow the actions in this video. We will also need two tool sets, one of which is Graph Explorer, and the other is Microsoft Entry ID as our Identity and Access Management service. So if we were to navigate to Entry ID, and this will take us to our Microsoft Entry Admin Console, we need to be able to delegate permissions. If you were to run the, the, the graph parameter as is, it would fail due to a lack of API permissions for graph. You need directory read across your organization and you need to be able to consent to those permissions. So we're gonna access Microsoft Entry Admin Console and we're gonna select app registrations. I've already created this registration, however, I will, I will go through the process with you. We're gonna select new registration I'm going to give this a name. We'll just give this reporting API application, and I'm just going to give this V2, as I've already created a uh, application. Supported account types, we're going to set this to accounts in this organization directory only. We're not doing any multi-tenant um, uh, setups here. It's just our directory and our directory only. And the redirect URI is going to be web. And we're going to set this to a local host, so HTTPS, semicolon, forward slash, forward slash, uh, local host. I'm going to press register. This should register successfully, and this has now created our um, app registration. We now need to delegate permissions, API permissions to this application, so we're able to read the directory and the information within the sign-in logs. So we're going to select API permissions, and we can see we've got user.read. So we can we can read sign in and uh, user profiles. However, it's not it, we haven't consented uh, to to Z permission sets. So what we need to do, we need to select add a permission, and we've got an option here uh, to select Microsoft Graph. We're going to select Microsoft Graph. And we've got two options for either delegated permissions or application permissions. We don't want to be able to have to sign in each and every time uh, we, we, we try and fetch the, the information through Microsoft Graph. Therefore, we're going to run it as an application daemon in the back end. So we're going to select application permissions and we're going to select permissions. So realistically, all you need is the audit, audit log dot read all. Uh, but I'm going to give the directory read all, the audit log dot read all, as well as the policy dot read all for conditional access policies. So I'm going to select directory. Uh, dot read. I'm going to give the directory dot read all permission. We're also going to give the audit uh, log read all. And the last and final one is the policy uh, policy dot read all for conditional access policies. So if we do want to find information in relation to a conditional access policy, we'll be able to through this. Z application. I'm going to select add permissions. I will add the permissions to Z application. Okay. And then finally, we just want to grant admin consent to this application. As and when we've done this, we're now able to use Microsoft Graph Explorer um, to, of course, invoke the, uh, the, the the new property we're looking at today. However, I've already created this application, so I'm not going to grant admin consent, otherwise it may or may not uh, conflict with my existing application I, I've got in place, uh, because there is a propagation time in terms of the, the, the application reflected in Microsoft Graph API. So once again, you will require Microsoft to try DP1 or P2 license for this, and you do even need to be a global administrator or a security administrator to be able to, to, be able to create the application as well as invoke the, the, the Graph API itself. So if we were to now navigate to Graph Explorer, okay, we need to set this parameter here to get, 
as we're fetching the details. And we need to change this parameter here from v1.0 uh, to beta as, th as this parameter is currently in, in beta and we expect this to move from beta to GA um, in, in the next uh, few months. So we'll look at the sign-in parameters for myself. Of course, we can uh, evoke this for other users within our organization itself. And if that application um, does have permissions to uh, multi-tenant organizations, we can, of course, use that. However, we've, um, solely, we're have solely we solely looking at our directory and our directory only. So we want to hit um, question mark and dollar and then select. OK. Um, as if you were evoking any type of parameter, i.e. account enabled, user property, the sign license in plans or SKUs, um, the, the groups associated with the user account. And then we want to type in sign in activity. Okay. If you haven't went through the first process in terms of creating an application, assigning the permissions, this is going to fail at this point as when we run the query. However, this should run successfully. Now we've got those API, API permissions um, and we've um, consented uh, to Z permissions. So we should be able to run query now. And this will give me an output, a response preview. We can see that it's OK 200. Therefore, my uh, response has been um, accepted. Um, and we can see my last uh, successful sign-in date and time which was um, 7th of December 2023, uh, US format. Um, and we can also see the other related parameters which we've been able to, to, to fetch for some, some years now. Um, but this is a game changer in terms of the last successful sign-in date and time. Like I said, uh, the previous uh, parameter only provided, provided us a bit of an insight in terms of the authentication attempts, um, i.e. using the email address and password, um, which isn't great when we're trying to investigate um, either compromised accounts or um, uh, potentially malicious frack. Um, if you have any other questions, please do let me know. But this was just a quick video on the, 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 the new uh, parameter, uh, which is currently in beta. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.